You ever just want to play a motocross game covered in Vaseline? Uh, I got the game for you. This is Monster Energy Supercross, the official game. That's how you know it's quality. Released March 17th of 2022, this is our fifth annual game since the start in 2018. I do own that one, but since the newest entry is either here or is coming soon depending on when this came out, I thought we should start with the new one, and start we shall. With these goddamn slippery ass peanut butter chunky ass mechanics. I get it, this is a motocross game and the controls are meant to feel this way. Does that mean I need to like them? Hell no. I can make fun of the fact that I barely touch my remote, I go flying. The game feels extremely slippery. Tires tend to give out, random movements will completely kill you. It's these mechanics that make the game slightly annoying. And by slightly, I mean not so slightly really annoying. It's so bad they made a rewind button. I'm sorry, but if the game has such bad physics you need to add a rewind button? You might need to dial it back a little. It's not that you can't get good. Oh, I got good. It's the fact that you always feel like you can't get perfect. Like, something like WRC. Unlike that game, you don't feel like over time, you won't slip. You just learn to accept it. It just doesn't feel great when I need to restrict my insane skills. Since every single touch... No, 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 not even touch. Just in general, you will go flying, or fall, or just crash, either moving, or just letting go of control in general. It's all about slowing down, but also speeding up. So make of that what you will. You have a preliminary match to get your placements, where you can try to get the best time. Big up for this. This is actually fun. While the mechanics are terrible, having time and multiple laps to try and nail it? is very fun, and even though I fail, I'll keep playing. Now, for a while that was true, then I saw it. The end button. At this point, what was the reason for me staying an extra 10 minutes just to play the same thing? But overall, racing for the fastest lap is, well, it's fun, and I like trying to do skips or land perfectly, and if I mess up, I can still win. Since the next lap, I just will do better. So what about the actual race? Yeah, no, it sucks. I don't care if you think this game should follow the actual events to a T. This sucks. I continue and will continue to rag on the mechanics. And with an actual race, this is no better shown. If you fail, you're on your face once. Forget about winning. Forget about fifth place. Just take your 22nd and move on, man. It's the fact that the game has such terrible controls that make the main mode not fun. And fun is what I want to have after hours at work. Not more stress. It's not fun dealing with these idiots and sometimes you just land into them which gives me the smallest laugh in my pea sized brain. And no matter how much I play, no matter how much you play, we are not making it back to first. The maps are really similar to each other. That should be no surprise as there aren't any maps, it's all the same dome with new bumps and turns. Now that all makes sense to the <sighs> lore of Supercross, but that doesn't mean it makes a good gaming experience. It gets bland over time, and there isn't a way to change that, no matter how much I want to. The only way I can fix this is to do it myself. The track builder is really cool. I'm a huge fan of track builders, Track Mania Turbo, Hot Wheels, Lego Indiana Jones 2. So here we have a really decent one. Speaking of all the content in the game, there's a lot. There are the main races, single races, customization, training, working out, healing, contracts, skills? A literal skill tree. Even though I can't be bothered to use all of this, I really like the amount of content there is for a racing game like this. It's a real difference between this and something like WRC. There is free roaming and so much more added, even DLC. If you guys could subscribe, I might be able to afford this. I hope to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. If you could help, thanks so much. Comment down dirt to be featured in the next video. Not dirt as in like, 
the game, I mean just dirt. As like what you're riding on. Okay, okay, let's move on. See this? Did, did you see this? Tutorials are almost never a good thing to have as a separate mode. It's a given that most games these days will add a tutorial in the beginning of the story and integrate it, or the first match, so that the player isn't overwhelmed and can get used to the controls without spending time playing a tutorial. I am one of those players that will never do these things. I will never go through a tutorial. I mean, I know the basics. I'm not about to learn what the R2 button does. Oh, maybe it makes me jump. Oh, it makes me go forward. Uh, so I played the game without ever knowing weight control, something I'll get into, tricks, or overall how the game even works. Not even how the game works or the essentials. It's annoying that I only learned you could trick by watching another racer do it, then just clicking shit. It also sucks as there isn't really a point in tricking, or unless there is and I just didn't find it because I didn't do it. I would definitely die if I tricked. The weight system is actually pretty cool and could have explained way better, but oh well. Holding the right and left stick will control the weight of the bike and the weight of the racer. Doing hums can be easy, it can also be hard with this mechanic, and this only adds to the feather bike. Other than all that stuff I mentioned, this game is pretty simple and doesn't deserve much more of my time, neither yours. The main career is pretty simple also, you can get contracts, customize your bike, and try to win. Then lose pathetically and get disowned by the company, and then they dump you onto the next poor souls that have to watch me crash. You can go through the ranks from newbies to pro, I, I didn't get very far. There is like this training mode and it's complete ass? What am I doing here? Backflip? How? Tell me! Fuck! This makes no sense and I don't know what's happening. And if this is how the free roam is, I hate to see the poor man who did all this work. Overall, this game just didn't hold my attention. And why should it? It's a basic Supercross game that was being removed from the PlayStation Plus store, so I played it. It really isn't that fun, I can't get good, and while that's my fault, I at least can get good at other games just like it. It isn't my cup of tea, but it might be yours. Let's see what others have to say. Okay, so I can't find anything. It seems IGN doesn't care about this game, and I've actually never seen them not review something. I mean, uh, that's just me, I guess. And uh, neither do a lot of other companies. So there goes the views for this one. Uh, Metacritic gave the game a 75, and Steam is about a 6 out of 10. I mean, the game works. It's not terrible, it's somewhat interesting, and the game has loads of content. There is so much to do in this game, but no one cares to do them all. It doesn't matter how much frosting you add to the cake, if the cake base is made of dirt and blood of racers, it's just a bad cake. Some crackheads will like it, but that's not a majority. As for me, I had a time with this game. It was entertaining and in the midst of moving around, I got to play a little. So in all my playing, all six hours, I give Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game five, a 55 out of 100. And that's that. I have some more games coming, and while my analytics continue to drop, a new Garden Warfare video will be released soon, I promise. Thanks for watching, see you later. Overall, this game just didn't hold my. Uh, I'm gonna burp. Ugh, I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna burp. I have to burp. I give Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, a five. Five!